You okay? I can't stop thinking about Hope and Liam. I thought that we weren't gonna be talking. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't drop it. So we have to sort this out. Either you convince me that we let it go, or I convince you that we tell them the truth. Rick, I understand why you lied to Hope. I didn't want to see her hurt. I still don't. Because of Liam's connection to Steffi. Mm, it's more than a connection. He's in love with her. That's why Liam keeps bouncing back to her. I mean, you want to talk about manipulation, Steffi's the master at it. She tricked him into marrying her. Did you know that? No. Well, maybe it's time you found out. Maybe then you'll understand just how deep things are between Liam and Steffi and why I want my sister out of this mess. Mom? What's wrong? You don't have to say it, I know. You were dreaming about him, weren't you? drive-by, or are you gonna stay for a while? What, you liking my son's management style better than mine? Well, you know, Liam is a little more user-friendly, but you know, Spencer Publications just isn't the same without all dollar uh -huh. beer. Yeah. Well, I did make a point of yelling at least once during every staff meeting. Good, so. you gotta keep those troops in line. That's, right. that's what I was missing, the fuzzies. <laughs> really glad to have you back, man. I'm even more glad to have your wife home. Best day of your recent life, I'll bet. It's okay, Mom. I totally get it. You do? Of course. How could you not think about him and miss him? I mean, I still can't believe that Ridge left like that. Mom, I know he loves you. And things are going to work out. They are. You just you have to give it some time. Idea where she's been all this time? In an apartment somewhere. Taylor spotted her and followed her. Convinced her to come home. What's her professional opinion? Postpartum depression. Postpartum depression, wow. I never expected that with Katie. Yeah, it's not exactly something you can predict, you know? Mm. I hated her being gone. Well, it's not exactly her fault. I mean, she had a heart attack and flatline just after giving birth. Imagine what she went through. Plus all the hormonal changes, come on. Katie was convinced she was living on borrowed time. After what happened during delivery, she didn't think she was gonna be around to raise Will. Wow, tough times for all. Well, thank God that's over. Isn't it? Well, she is continuing to, to work with Taylor, you know, make sure there isn't a, a relapse. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. news is I was really able to bond with my son from day one, <laughs> which unfortunately is something I couldn't do with Liam. But luckily, you handled him great. But now I'm going to step back a bit, give Katie and Will the time they need. So, uh, lucky for you, mm. Slick, 
Mm. I'm going to be back around here. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I don't know when Katie will be back. Yeah, no, no problem. I'm happy covering for her. Yeah, I can help with that, too, especially if you're back. It's been, uh, you know, pretty rough, so I... Well, I want to thank you guys for taking up the slack. Hopefully now things get back to normal. How are you really? I mean, you seem to be functioning okay, but I know that this is a horrible time. First Ridge, and then Katie, and then Stephanie. I haven't really been able to process it all. Helping out with Will has been really good for me. But now Katie's back, thank God. So tell me about you. How's everything with you? Uh, you know, kind of in the same boat, just trying to sort things out. Liam, I just don't understand how things went so wrong. So the first time that Liam messed up was at his bachelor party. He, he got too drunk. And actually, Steffi was there to drive him home. Uh, they started kissing in the car. Hope saw them. They didn't see her. So she wrote a note along with her engagement ring and broke things off. I mean, you think that the guy would try to find her to make things right. And he didn't. Well, in all fairness, he tried to call her, but she didn't want to talk to him. But that same night, what did he do? He put the ring on Steffi's finger and took her to bed. Yeah, that's exactly what Bill wanted. He couldn't get him married fast enough. So he sent them to Aspen, where Steffi arranged an ambush wedding at the top of Ajax Mountain, lured Liam there. In the meantime, Hope has second thoughts. She wants to go to Aspen. So I go with her for support, just in case she gets hurt again. And she did, because somehow Bill and Steffi arranged for her to get stuck in a gondola and forced her to watch Liam marry Steffi. How awful. Um, it gets worse. Every time I'd think we'd gotten through the worst of it, something else would happen. Always having to do with Steffi. What is it about her? Why can't Liam stay away from her? Liam can't stay away from Steffi. Italy was it for me. I didn't know about Bill's involvement getting Deacon there, but what I do know is that my sister was late for the ceremony because she was spending time with her father, who she hasn't seen in years. And instead of Liam waiting for her, what does he do? He ends up in bed with Steffi accidentally recorded on video that my sister inadvertently saw. I should have cut my losses when I saw that video, but oh no, not Miss Optimism. I planned another wedding and then Liam and Steffi have a makeout session the night before. Liam should have never gone out with Steffi the night before he was supposed to marry Hope again, but he just cannot stay away from her. That's why I convinced Othello to lie so I could put an end to this thing once and for all. Now we know that Deacon going to Italy was Bill's doing. You're clinging to a lie and it's keeping two people who love each other apart. This has to end, Rick. It breaks my heart to see you in so much pain. Oh, I'll be fine. It's a process, right? For both of us. You know, every time I start to feel really bad for myself, I just think about all the things that I have to be grateful for. Like Katie coming home. You and Bill must have been blown away. You could say that. I'm sure you were relieved. It can't have been easy to spend all that time with Bill. He's not really as bad as you would think. You're joking, right? Oh, really? And the circumstances sort of stripped him down. He had to take care of Will, and he was really worried about Katie. So he didn't have that king of the mountain attitude. He had to be real. You know, he was just Bill. I could understand why Katie fell in love with him. So, firstborn son. 
How are things with you? Pretty darn great. Living arrangements are working out? Yeah, every day, Steffi's a revelation. I hope you're just enjoying that. Living in the moment, not planning any walks down the island oh, anytime soon. <laughs> no, believe me, marriage is uh, far from being on the table. We're just, you know, enjoying each other, taking it day by day, but uh, I do love her. No kidding. Yeah, you called it, okay? So I was right. Uh, just don't break your arm patting yourself. Hey, I'm just back. saying, you know, when the old man gives you some advice, you yeah. might want to listen to it, avoid a lot of aggravation. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else you want to tell me? Like business or family? Either one. Well, oh, well, there's Caroline. What about her? Well, it seems like she and Rick are getting pretty serious. So Thomas is out of the picture? Oh, yeah, way out. Rick saw to that. He, he wanted the girl, bided his time, slithered on in there. Thomas didn't even know it hit him. You don't sound too happy about that. I mean, you know, I'm not a huge fan of either one, but uh, I guess if Caroline's happy, that's all that matters. Right? Okay, I'll admit it. It was selfish. But if I tell Hope that I lied, she might never forgive me. Just be as honest with her as you are with me. Tell her why you did it, that you didn't want to see her get hurt again. I just don't think that's going to cut it. No. She's going to be really upset with you. Mm. But isn't that better than living with this on your conscience? You told me that you wanted us to be together because you thought together that we could do anything. And I believe that. So do I. But I don't want us to start off clouded by this. Hope is your sister, and Liam is my cousin. They're family. We can't keep deceiving them. It's wrong. Okay. Okay, we'll tell them. But know that I told this lie out of the best of intentions for the love of my sister, right? But she's miserable. She's miserable because of me. And Bill. Look, I'm not responsible for Bill's actions. But what I did I need to fix. Hey. Where are you? I'm at Mom's. What's up? Are you going to be there a while? Yeah, for a bit. Why? I need to tell you something. It's important. OK. I'll see you soon. All right. We right the wrong. I love you. Caroline, you have reservations about Rick? Ah, uh, it's not really my place, is it? I mean, of course it's your place. She's your cousin. You gotta look out for family. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, like you? Well, didn't you just tell me that I was right about Steffi? Huh? I, huh? Yeah. You want me to talk to her? No, you, hey, you, you go ahead and sit this one out. Listen, I don't want to see Caroline get hurt any more than you do. I like her. I think she's a good addition to the family. Yeah, me too. Speaking of which, you gotta be really excited that Katie's back. Okay, what that see, what is that look, Dad? Because you, you gave that same look to Justin. No, I know. Come on. I, of course I'm glad that Katie's back. It, it's just this uh, postpartum depression. What is it? And, and how how do we fight it? And, and what if it's it comes not back? back? It's not. Can I get that in writing? Well, no, but you know, I'm sure. Taylor's on top of it. I mean, Katie's still seeing her, right? Look, Dad, Katie is thrilled to be back with her new baby. You got nothing to worry about. So, how are things with Thomas in charge? Um, kind of in a holding pattern right now. Eric stepped in and, and kind of slowed Thomas down. Is he playing nicely with Rick? Well, no one's been thrown through a window lately, so that's good, but he does not like working for Thomas. 
How are he and Caroline? They're great, actually. They are. Um, I think she's probably the reason why he hasn't flipped out. Good. Mm -hmm. She's a good person. That's the kind of woman he deserves. Yeah. She really brings out the best in him. Thank you. For doing the right thing. I know that this is really hard for you. Bob deserves the truth. I just don't want to lose her. No, no, you won't, you won't. She may be furious at first, but she's gonna understand that you only lied to protect her. I'll make sure. I knew that this is how it would be for us. Working through stuff together, helping each other out. I like the man I want to be for you. I'm pretty crazy about the man you already are. Something's ever happened to me.